Tracy Snyder, Vice President of Marketing, Technology, and People, and I've been with the company for 12 years. My name is Sam Hupper. Um, I'm an install admin with Improve It, and I've been here for about five months. My name is Lauren Hunter. I'm the content specialist for Improve It Home Remodeling, and I've been here almost two years. Bridget Huff, Inside Sales Training Manager. I've been with the company going on a year, almost a year. My path to remodeling is kind of interesting because my father was a custom home builder. I remember thinking like, that's so cool that I might be able to work for an organization that has ties to home improvement. I am, you know, I would be so honored to be connected to something that has uh, you know, deep family ties for me. There was a moment when I was growing up where I thought maybe I'll be an architect when I grow up. And my skills kind of led me down the, the path of literature and writing, and I was really good at that. So I took advantage of that and was able to bring it into my career and kind of blend both of my interests, which I never really expected would happen. I was in the construction industry for about five years um, out in Arizona. We kind of worked with new homeowners through the sale process, through construction, through warranty um, and for 10 years after that. I really enjoy the part of my job here at Improve It where I get to take what I've learned and share it with homeowners who, um, who don't do this every day. You know, they're doing something major to their home and they're inviting people in to help them. So we wanna make sure that we start that partnership and that we let them know we're there for them. It feels so good to be a homeowner's trusted advisor. And when they call and, you know, I introduce myself and say who I am, and they just, you, you can hear like the, the calmness in their voice after, it, it's really good feeling. You know, women in construction or women in home improvement, um, you know, it is, uh, it's a growing trend, thankfully. But when I think about it, I think it's just diversity in general, which is just a good thing for organizations. When you look at diversity in the workplace, they are much more likely to be successful when there's diversity present. Sometimes don't really consider myself a woman in construction because I'm a woman in media, I'm a woman in communication. And so it's a little bit different aspect, but what I think is so interesting is no matter um, no matter what industry you're in, communication is really gonna be vital and, and every voice that you can find to bring to the table is gonna bring more value. As a woman in the remodeling industry, it's interesting to see the balance of both, um, you know, the functionality of the project, but the aesthetic, right? Um, and really understanding that during a conversation with the customer, you're gonna marry those two things together. It's very important that you understand not only the need that they have with their project, but what is the want. Construction doesn't have to be wearing a tool belt. Uh, a lot of times it's it's in the, the connections you build um, with our homeowners. You know, they, they are spending quite a bit of money, you know, to make those repairs and upgrades to their home and they want to feel safe and comfortable doing it. And that's where I come in. I think it takes a good level of respecting and understanding everybody's um, unique traits, skills, and abilities, understanding how those tie together to make the team strong. Water settles to a certain level, right? So if you don't have anything else coming into the pool to push the water level up, it just stays where it is, right? So when I think about diversity, when you have something else coming in that's different, then the water level rises. So that's kind of my, the way that I think about something different coming into the pool, it pushes everything forward.